So I've been hearing a lot about a Splatoon boycott around these parts of YouTube, and what can I say other than I am pleasantly surprised? I am very surprised. It seems that finally the tide has turned around here and Nintendo fans are actually starting to stand up and speak out against Nintendo. But yet, at the same time, you saw the same usual suspects that damage control everything, but big surprise, they're not really going to change ever. So, listen. I'm not here to tell you that you should or shouldn't boycott the game. That is not what this video is about. But change does not happen if you've already given your money to Nintendo people. It doesn't. You can't go and give them your money and then complain. Because once they have your money, that's it. They've made their sale. They've done their job. They've done their goal. And for that reason, the Wii U is the first Nintendo console I have not owned day one. And I feel no need to support a company that is so complacent and out of touch with the product and its fans. And let's be serious. The only power you have, like I said before, is in your wallet. And if you keep giving these morons your money, then nothing is ever going to change. The only way to hurt a company and cause change is to hurt their bottom line. But now I'm hearing that people boycotting it for the lack of voice chat features that quite frankly have been around on a console since Halo 2 over a decade and two generations ago are stupid. That boycotting the game will serve as nothing more than a means to tell Nintendo that we don't want anything else, we don't want new IPs, and all we want is more Zelda and more Mario. And to that I have to say this. You guys are acting like abused girlfriends in a toxic relationship, and it's sad. If you boycott the game for voice chat, you boycott the game for voice chat. Not because you're interested in the game, because if you buy this game, and you're all telling Nintendo that you bought this game, you're telling Nintendo that, hey, it's cool that you don't have voice chat, I'm still going to buy your game. As opposed to making them go back to the drawing board and ask themselves, hmm, how come this game didn't sell well? Why did this game underperform? See, these kinds of actions are just further proof that Nintendo doesn't have a diverse selection of games. You would rather support a game that's missing an integral feature due to fear of not getting anything else unique. Face it, Nintendo has you dominated. Nintendo owns you. They know you don't have a choice, and they know, like a good bunch of loyal corporate slaves, like a good bunch of loyal puppets, you'll continue to open your wallet. So the bottom line is this, people. For anyone saying to buy this game despite the lack of a basic standard feature, what you're really saying to everyone else is that Nintendo is either too stupid and incompetent to understand why its consumers are boycotting their game, or that they simply do not care. Either way, you can choose to do what you want. After all, it is your money. But as I've said before, the Wii U is not something I will ever vote with my wallet for.